Greetings, ladies and mentalgens, and welcome to today's Reddit Quickie, taken from the subreddit HFY, called Throwing Rocks, written by Warrior4356. The link to the original will be down below, and as always, I hope that you enjoy. Transcript from Universal Date Scale 13,765,824,615 years from initial reference. 76% into the Telfregian homeworld. Translation of local name High Mother Orbit Cycle. 43% through planetary rotation. Analysts note The actors in this transcript are designated as follows H.G. E. represents a member of the High Command. This is an admiral who has requested the meeting. I.O. is the intelligence officer with the technical expertise to explain the concepts involved. H.C. I am to understand that this meeting is for understanding the circumstances of the disappearance of the orbital fleet installation designation. There was a pause for checking digital notes. 17 BM2, in orbit over planetary colony 17 B4. Is that correct? A. That is correct, Reverend One. H.C. Please proceed. Analysts note, there is another pause. Reactions of the audio cues indicate a visual representation was brought up. See, attach document 7 for the presentation on the events that transpired. A. Yes, as you can see here, as of 7462, we discovered a primitive species in a fringe system 19G, located on the third planet from the local star. A planet approximately of 70% water. As of the discovery, they have colonized their primary moon, as well as the fourth planet. Two gas giant moons and have the basic orbital industry starting up in the inner debris belt. This species was designated humans for the first contact protocols were started. Analysts note, discovery occurred three months before first contact. First contact occurred nine years before this recording. The Telfragian name for our species does not translate as anything other than a wet world primitives. An analysis of the Telfragian language can be found in the data repository for A. First contact was handled by the emissary class officer aboard the Scurry ship. Initial exchange proceeded as expected with a class 3 primitive. However, the lack of a unified system government increased the necessity of emissary class personnel needed by a factor of 6. From there, H.C., can you please skip to where the interactions turn violent? I don't need the first contact details explained at this time. A. Of course, Reverend One. The general terms of the visualization as part of the claimed regional space were not disagreed over until we reached a per-cycle workforce tithe. The Emirate Star found this to be a surprising given how the local species history indicated they used their own species as a subservient workforce within the last 300 local cycles. When the humans became aggressive and then violent, the Guardians evacuated the emissaries and a strike was planned to put them in line. HC, I see the strike occurred in 7464. Is that correct? A. Yes, Reverend One. A Type C missionary group arrived in the system and proceeded to announce the final chance to obey before they would destroy a population center of each primary landmass. This was met with a refusal and a small group of primitive warships, though using the term seems insulting for our elegant vessels. Unifield shielding demonstrated that their energy weapons were between three and four orders of magnitude insufficient to cause damage. When they closed, they fired with kinetic weapons, again proving ineffective. This resulted in one of the lead officers making a joke. It appears the primitives have started throwing rocks. This resulted in a 43% improvement morale with the boring deployment. HC, can you please focus on how this deployment resulted in the loss of three medium picket ships? A. Yes, of course. I.O. Would you please? I.O. The simple answer is overconfidence, Reverend One. After the energy and kinetic strikes were ineffective, shields were overly trusted. The lead elements were lost after what was thought to be a chemical-driven kinetic strikes were demonstrated to be megaton-yield fusion warheads. As the point defense systems were offline to protect against the low-yield weapons, the missiles got through and the detonations proved more than what the picket class could handle for energy dispersion. 
The escort class was also picked and was able to dissipate the energy before the shields went down. From there, point defense drones were deployed and no further missile strikes impacted the group. A. From here, the strike proceeded as planned and observation drones were left in the system. When they returned for a tithe, it was noted that the humans had reverse-engineered the picket class wrecks. But compared to the industrial capacity, the quantity of ships in the system was low. The number of vessels present was enough to force a retreat. H.C. I see from that day they have done an admiral job defending their home system, resulting in an increase in status from Class 3 to Class 4 primitive, and it was decided that we would not try and force them to innovate and possibly join us as a proper galactic species in time. A. That is correct, Reverend One. From here, the events are as expected from the given class. Losses on our side have been kept to drone and slave-controlled vessels until the incident at our closest main fleet base to the humans. I.O., would you please explain the incident for the System 17B? I.O. Yes, sir. Half an orbital cycle before the incident, a notable fleet group arrived in System and divided into two groups. All but four vessels were smaller than our escort class. Of those four, only one was larger than a line class, and it was smaller than a dreadnought class by a factor of four. The fleet stationed in 17B were large enough to engage the human fleet. It was at least two orders of magnitude larger as a whole, let alone divided. The smaller of the two groups went around the main solar body, while the larger group began skirmishing with the fleet. The engagement lasted for translated four hours. Comparing the fleet information to probe data indicates they lost 35% of their fleet to jump drive complications before arrival in the system. HC. They then fled the system. I.O. That is accurate, Reverend One. It has been expected that the smaller group was flanking force that fled the system when the primary force fled. Their plan has not been noticed until 67 hours before the incident. It appears the smaller group modified an iron-based asteroid's orbit at the solar priapsis, then coated the body with the material that occluded 99.99% of reflected light. Its new orbit was not noticed until the gravitational sensors picked it up on a collision course with the colonial world. The resulting impact has reduced 17B4 into a molten state and the debris has been consumed the shipyards and 46% of the fleet. H.C. It appears that the primitives have resorted to throwing rocks. And that, my friends, is the end of this Reddit quickie. I hope that you enjoyed. If you would like to support this channel, there are numerous ways to do so, listed in the description down below. The easiest and best way would be to share this video and my channel as much as possible. I'll see you all in the next video, and I hope that you have a good one until then. Cheers.